The story goes that the ancient civilization at Overgrowth used to live in perfect balance with its super smart trees. But somewhere along the road, the people lost their way. So the plants grew into an impenetrable forest and were like, hey, get out of here, to the people. I'd love to have seen it in its heyday, man. That's where I'd belong. Feeling lightheaded? Please help. Not yourself? Please. Emitting light? What? Ah! Whoa. Thanks. Get checked at your local hospital today. This is Two Point Radio.
And now for the continuation of my guide to good manners, where today I will be tackling a situation that comes up all too often. Talking to royalty. You must mumble incomprehensibly, avert your eyes at all costs, and lower your head until it touches your shoes. This advice also applies to a lesser extent to barons, duchesses, and other members of the peerage. is Nigel Bickleworth on Two Point Radio. A hot button topic in today's grammar lesson. When to use less and when to use fewer. Allow me to demonstrate with an example. You do not have fewer money than me, fewer education than me, or fewer personal hygiene than me. But you do have less of each of those. I hope that clears up the matter.
I'm being told that a two-point county hospital has been infested with frogs. Of course it has. I'll add that in other news, Mayor Winsock expressed her desires to run an all-gibbon cabinet and the pointy mountains were last seen drifting into the sky after bidding all of us adieu in a deep, booming voice. Sober up, people. this time would come, this pitiful, minuscule radio station could not contain a talent of my magnitude for long. I have just received word that I am soon to host a show on a major national station. I will finally have an audience worthy of me, not the plebeian collection of knuckle-dragging pond scum I have now. Farewell, you witless vulgarians.
If you love overpriced subscriptions with luxury packaging, uh, yes. here's the next link in the chain. Right. Sausage Box, the only bi-weekly subscription that's filled to the skin with sausages. Mm, mm, mm. Get your neighbours to say, oh wow, nice sausage box. Serving Two Point County. This is Two Point Radio.
It appears I have once again fallen prey to that most asinine of personal attacks, the prank call. There is no new job, no national radio station, no changing of the winds for Sir Nigel. My earlier tirade was spoken in the heat of passion, and I hope you can forgive this minor slip, if indeed you are intelligent enough to have understood it in the first place. and wolf on two point radio rise and shine everyone it's harrison wolf on two point radio now that i think about it you can listen to this lying down so you don't have to rise and unless you've swallowed the torch you're not gonna shine either so stay down and dull everyone
was watching a line of Orb Foundation recruits walking down the street yesterday when I saw one of them trip and get separated from the others. He started turning in circles and bumping the walls. So there's your proof, folks. The drones can't function when they're cut off from the collective. Remember this weakness when they come for us all. Fans, I've got two tickets to the Two Point Semicolons concert this weekend, and you can win them by answering a simple question. What is the name of the band's most popular song? They only have three, so this should be easy. Call in if you know.
sorry for the litter that you dropped on our floor. Author and ambassador for the Bigfoot Foundation, Bartholomew F. Yeti is coming to talk at an artsy location near you for the 20th anniversary tour of his seminal work, Big Feet, Big Shoes. Critics call it urgent, confusing, and a nice color. Blink and you'll miss him. Buy your tickets now. is Two Point Radio.
You are listening to Harrison Wolf <laughs> on Two Point Radio. We have a winner for those tickets. Robbie Marmalade, who called in with the correct answer. The semicolon's most popular song is Four is a four-letter word, which they'll be performing on Tuesday in Crockle Bay. Enjoy the gig, Robbie. Training is complete. Class dismissed. Taking a break from my search for hobbies, I've realized that my favorite hobby is searching for hobbies. I guess it's like the meaning of life. Asking the question is what gives it meaning. Which brings me to my new hobby for the week, collecting paradoxes. If you've come across a paradox lately, I'd like to hear all about it. Thank <laughs> you. 
Interrupt previously scheduled radio with a breaking tech update. I'm Alan Dongle. Researchers have developed an escape room to safely treat patients suffering with wonder rust. Gone are the days of the unhealthily adventurous, ironically pursuing their own peril. Stuff we need to figure out if we're going to save our planet. Starting with renewable energies. Solar power, wind power. These are a good start. But I'd like to propose a new one. Chewing power. Think about it. A chewing gum that's wirelessly connected to the grid. A whole city powered by moving our jaws. It could happen.
Are we running out of coffee or are we running out of time? <laughs> Two people would share workflow before they'd share love in People That Work Together. We simply hadn't seen anything like it before. It's something really very special. And that's rare. And it's special. And it's really very rare. The Roderick Cushing Classic. People That Work Together. Streaming now on Bungle Pictures. 24 hours a day. This is Two, two, two Point Radio.
these are the questions on everyone's mind as yet again unsuspecting two point residents have been ambushed by frogs dropping from the sky i long for the day when frog and man can coexist in peace once again
Advancement. Toilets need routine servicing. One of our hospitals is suffering the effects of an electrical storm. Not so good if you're hooked up to any equipment right now, but great conditions for reanimating monsters assembled from body parts. We live in difficult times. Big brother, big sister, big aunt, the whole big family is watching our every move, tracking what we do and say, what we buy, what we read, what we watch. That's why I have a segment telling you 
how to protect yourself from all those prying eyes. It's called Hints for Tin Foil Hats. Stay tuned. It's time to fill your ears with sunshine because Ricky Hawthorne is back on Two Point Radio. We have hours of fun ahead, so don't go anywhere.
It's not easy keeping your spirits up in these difficult times, which is why we have a nice words of the day segment. So send in your favorite inspirational phrases and we can spread our joy far and wide. Thank you. 
just made myself a cup of tea. Is there anything more soothing and comforting? This next tune is very much like a cup of tea. It's wet, it's hot, and it's full of sugar. So let your ears drink it down. Today's sponsor is Rent an Eel. Rent an Eel for all of your short term eel based needs. This is Two Point Radio. Rival executive now approaching the hospital.
listening to Ricky Hawthorne on Two Point Radio. Today's nice words of the day quote comes from Bob Washcloth, who says, "Live every moment like you're late for work and the toast is on fire." I'm not sure what that means, but everybody loves toast. Patients now arriving for the ward. We're just getting news of an electrical storm affecting one of our county's hospitals. That's going to play havoc with the equipment. Glad I'm not having an operation today. But if you are, just try to stay positive.
corporations try to behave like human beings. That means you. In the news, Two Point County's oldest photography store is in trouble after a shortage in chemicals used during darkroom processing. We'll let you know if there are any developments. hospitals is littered with frogs after the friendly amphibians rained down from the sky. Isn't nature a strange and wonderful thing? I wonder what the clouds look like. Hmm. Ponder on that while you listen to this.
commencement, bins will become full. I volunteered for some tests at Bungle Technologies. I don't know what they injected into me, but it doesn't seem to have had any effect. Eyeballs are supposed to be purple, right? We'll be right back, here on Two Point Radio. things happen every day. You could lose a toe, ah! your house, ah! even your life. Ah! That's why you need insurance like Swindles Insurance. <sighs> Swindles, because peace of mind is worth a piece of your soul. This is Two Point Radio. Doctor to psychiatry, please. Training course. 
There's nothing quite as refreshing as a can of moose juice. And it tastes even better if you're washing down a bag of cheesy gubbins. Now listen to these lovely tunes while I take a shower. Training course completed.
the bin is now hospital property. No rummaging. Radio. Put aside your humdrum worries. It's time to stimulate the intellect and inspire the soul. That's right. This is Sir Nigel Bickleworth here on Two Point Radio. As you know, an expert on local history. So from time to time, I shall endeavor to educate you all on matters of two points past. For instance, did you know the recently constructed hospital was built on a hamster burial ground? Of course, I for one would not be surprised if this parasite hotel attracted a whole new kind of rodent. Next, another stirring piece of contemporary music.
required in Pan's lab. Let it not be said that Nigel Bickleworth is an obsolete stick in the mud. Today we tackle the manners of that most futuristic of communication methods, the electronic mail. The etiquette here is to write as one would a 19th century epistle. This means one may wait two or three weeks to reply in order to counterbalance the frightful immediacy of computerized letters. Jasmine Odyssey is back with a number one album. Salvation includes the hit singles on the 84th floor. And when we're together and no one else is there. When we're together. Stream Jasmine Odyssey today on Bungle Music.